Hi, I'm Natalie Pike and I'm in a very cold, very chilly, but always beautiful Manchester city centre as we are going to be meeting one of the incredible stars of 2022, one of our lionesses. She's also won the PFA Virtu Motors Fans Player of the Month Award, one of the many, many things that she has won this year. She's incredible at football, but today we're going to find out, is she any good at shuffleboard? It is Lauren Hem. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I feel like I cannot possibly make you be red today, yeah. so I think I'll have to take one for the team and I'll be red. Thank you. You'll yeah, be blue. 100%. Have you played before? Um, once or twice. Um, are you? Do you play any other sports? Um, I used to play cricket. Oh. oh okay. Okay. So. Yeah, I used to play hard. cricket, um, but I had to stop when I was 16. I, I kind of had to choose between the both, uh, football or cricket, and in the end I went for football, which I think was the best decision to be honest, but I used to go to like England sort of camps with cricket as well. Did I hear you're also really good at darts? I wouldn't say really good, but my mum my and dad used to play when they were younger. Um, they used to play and my mum was quite good at it actually. Um, but yeah, we've got a darts board at home and I've got a darts board at my house as well, so I play a bit now and again. Play but, a bit of darts, yeah. we're good at cricket. Brilliant football, not Brilliant great on your first shot at shuffleboard. Okay, well you only got one point, so. <laughs> okay, will there be a moment where you sit back and you think about 2022 and just realise everything that's that's happened in the year? Yeah, I think it's been pretty crazy to be honest. Like, I feel like we just haven't had a chance to just properly switch off and sort of reminisce over like a fantastic year that's that's been. And I don't think I'll realise it maybe like for a few years to come, like how special it has actually been because when you're in the moment you don't really realise how big and and how much it has done also for women's football as well. Obviously with that Euros one in the summer and obviously we were then back straight to club football and, and back to it pretty quickly so you, you kind of not forget but you don't really think about how much like how much has happened and like how big it's going to be for the future of women's football. Seeing the little girls and the little boys mm. with with hemp with the other women's names on the back of their shirts, it gives me like it just makes yeah. the hair go up. I imagine for you it must just be insane. Yeah, definitely. Like I never thought that when I was younger that I'd be like a role model. Like I've looked up to so many people, like obviously Jill Scott, Steph, people like that who I've always looked up to and wanted to be like them when I'm older and sort of now be recognised as that myself. It's crazy and like I'm still so young that I feel like I'm looking up to people still. You've smashed my oh! That was ruthless. Okay. Okay, so my plan here is knock yours off and then just leave that one there. Okay. Oh, well, that's very aggressive. Oh, not my own off. <laughs> Yay! <is>. Finished. <laughs> We are repurposing the PFA Virtu Fans Player of the Month Award and it is now the Shuffle Queen Award. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you.